Well, Joel, Republicans in the Senate are pledging to use their supermajority to override the governor's veto of this bill. You see it here, Senate Bill 41. They're going to need a few seats and a few Democrats to flip that and to do the same override over in the House. Advocates tonight uh, are hoping that it doesn't go that direction, and you'll hear their passionate pleas tonight. We have seen more than our fair share of gun violence in the triangle in just the past three days. I've seen, especially North Carolina has seen this week alone, uh, the influence of guns in the wrong hands. The Bull City in the spotlight tonight after five teenagers were shot and two of them were killed in separate incidents. This is the last stand for consciousness in gun regulation in North Carolina. Marcus Bass is worried the violence will get worse if a long time regulation is taken away. I think Governor Cooper did the right thing by um, vetoing this bill. Bass is the deputy director of the NC Black Alliance. He's talking about Senate Bill 41, which Governor Cooper vetoed Friday after it passed the House and Senate. This is not about um, restricting access. This is about ensuring there's a process in place that mitigates the damage for individuals that now have to go through a regulatory process. He and other advocates say the bills would take away the ability of local sheriffs to do full background checks on all handgun sales. It also allows them to use discretion as to based on a good moral character um, for someone who can get a permit or who can't get a permit. Becky Scherstoss is the executive director of North Carolinians Against Gun Violence. So it's only our pistol purchase permitting system that is keeping guns out of the hands of people who have just been convicted of a crime of you know, assaulting a female, assaulting a child. Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood said there are good reasons to keep and change the permitting process. The current one is outdated and was created at a time when local sheriffs knew each and every one of their citizens. Quote, fast forward to today where people come and go and move in and out of their communities with great frequency. Advocates tonight adamant to keep the process as it is. Blood is going to be on the hands of the individuals in the General Assembly that attempt to override the governor's veto. Republican Senator Danny Britt of Robeson County said of the governor's veto tonight, the governor, quote, chose to maintain our duplicative gun laws and infringe on our constitutional rights. And Joel and Lauren, as we mentioned, Republicans still need to flip several Democrats in the House to get that override. At this point, it's unknown when that will happen. Back to you.